Hey, it's Ruby and Alex, and we're here today with the so very talented Bishop Briggs. Ah, thank you. Thank you for coming in. We're excited to have you, and on the release of your new album, No Less. Oh my God, I am so excited. This is so surreal to be here, so thank you. Uh, before we start, quick question. Now, this is, might be an embarrassing Canadian question. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Your real name is Sarah McLaughlin. Yes, which who is the queen. Which So you do know who it is. Do of, you oh, okay. So I, so I grew up in the 90s. And, like, she was the idol. Like, I actually think that's why I was named Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah. But I, I, from a really young age, I was like, I can never compete with that. I can never live up to that. So I really, like, let that go. And I feel like it made me a happier child. Well, a neat fun fact. Her real name is Bishop Briggs. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I literally was like... I <laughs> <laughs> Literally, had a, if you zoom into my face in that moment, I had I was like, <laughs> no way. "How has no one ever told me that?" Did you guys know this? Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, wow. let's get okay. to the important stuff. That was yes. very funny. Very, yeah. very good. Your That's new so album, Champion. We're so excited about it. Uh, what are fans in for? Thank you. Um, I mean, it really is like I'm releasing a diary entry, which feels very scary. But I feel like if you're not afraid then, you know, maybe you're not pushing yourself. Uh, that feels like a football coach reference, but I just mean it's uh, it's been really liberating to not be hiding. You know, I feel like I've hidden uh, totally subconsciously behind my own metaphors and my own poetry. And so to have... Um, to have the ability to write something where I'm not doing that at all and kind of pushing myself not to feels really liberating. But I'm a little nervous. You know, I'm, I'm definitely nervous, for sure. Is there any song in particular that you're nervous about? Like one that's really putting <laughs> your heart out on the table? Yes. Uh, there's a song called uh, I Tried, and it's the uh, final song on the album, and it's actually a demo. It was just one of those one-take moments. And, um, yeah, one of the lyrics is um, uh, that, you know, you said you don't want to be hi like him, angry like your dad. You know, and I'm Ooh. like, okay, D you know, did I have to go <laughs> there? Um, and I love his dad, too, so it just feels like this, you know, intense thing. But it's like you are your parents, you know, for better or for worse. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's... Maybe tell them, like, I don't really like, don't listen to that one. <laughs> you don't, yeah, you yeah. don't like that. I don't think you it's your taste. Yeah. Yeah, I know the whole album is, but that one song is, nope. The BPMs, <laughs> or you won't be into it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll throw you off. This might be too personal, but did you talk to him about it first? Like, does he know? Does his dad know? Yes. Um, I, I sent him the music, um, and uh, he actually said it's the best music I've ever written. Wow. And honestly, you know, for even us to heal, like, for there to be any potential future with us, I had to write this. You know, like, it was definitely a really definitive time in our relationship that was really negative um, that resulted in us breaking up. Um, but I never really would have been able to get through the grieving process had I not written this, and I would have never really been able to forgive him. And also, I'm lucky that he was someone that was very much owned up to his mistakes and his faults, um, which I really appreciate, you know. What's it like hearing from fans that say your music helped them through a particular time? Because, I mean, I think you're going to get that a lot more now with this uh, album. I hope so. That means so much uh, because, you know, I feel like when you go through any sort of heartache, you feel so alone, and it's this very self-absorbed feeling where you're like, no one else has gone through this. And, you know, a quick Google search, I found out other people have. But um, it was so, it's so freeing knowing other people have gone through this. And for me, it was like reaching for the Amy Winehouse record, the Adele record, and just hearing them talk about it. I was like, well, if they've gone through this, you know, and if they're articulating this in a way that I can understand, then that makes me feel less alone. So the thought that anyone else is taking that from my music means the world. Yeah. Do you remember what your heartbreak song would have been, maybe in your younger years, perhaps an embarrassing one? Ooh, that's a great question. Well, I, my first concert was Backstreet Boys, and Perfect. everything that they 
<laughs> that was a nod. <laughs> and everything that they sang, I was like, wow, that's just so deep. You know, like I was just like, no one understands them. You know, like everybody now, <laughs> everybody now. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like a, te- a slow tear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're still crushing it, though. You know, we've seen they them really lately. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So anything from them. All right. Uh, let's talk about the song Champion for a second. I've got it on my feel good mix. <gasps> Because when I need to get pumped up, you have Stop. to have a song like that on there. Oh, my God. That's so great. Okay. So, but you were actually going through kind of a, a darker time when you wrote that one. Yes. I was really feeling like a shell of myself. And I feel like as a woman, you know, you kind of have to be so many different things at once. It's like you have to be confident but humble. You know, it's like you, uh, there's just these constant things that you have to be when you walk into a room. And uh, I was noticing that the men in my life, you know, were walking into a r- into the room feeling good strictly because of the things that they were proud of. You know, whether it was their family or the work they had done that day, um, they didn't have to be so many different things at once. And it doesn't mean that men don't have that. But in my particular group of girlfriends, we were all kind of feeling this thing of constantly having to be so many different things at once. And it was really exhausting. Um, And so I thought, how crazy would it be if I had this song where I repeatedly said, I'm a champion. And, you know, instinctually, I really want to go, I'm a champion. But I don't know. I mean, do you guys think? I mean, (laughs) who who even knows? It's like, I really want to do that. But it's like, I thought if I go on tour with this song, you know, even if this song doesn't turn out the way I want it to, I'm going to put it in the set because no matter what, and it did turn out the way I wanted it to, thankfully. But... Um, no matter what, I have to sing with conviction, you know, um, because and and maybe if I keep doing it, it will become a mantra that I will start to believe. And knowing that I'm a champion strictly because of how I treat people, because of uh, my work ethic, anything that I'm proud of. Um, and that's enough to make me a champion. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. And on the album Champion... What is your favorite song? What's the one that really you hear and you're like, yes, I nailed it. I did it this time. I mean, did I? I'm just, you know, I'm just kidding. You're like, <laughs> you're like, yes, this is the one. Oh my god. Okay, I will say, um, there is a song on there um, that is similar to I tried in the sense that it is kind of one of those like, it's kind of one take. It's it was before we had broken up. But it was that awful time frame where you're like, are we about to? It's aw- I Oh, my God. My stomach turns just thinking about that. But it's a song called Someone Else. And um, I couldn't redo the vocals. Um, and it doesn't mean that it was because they were perfect. They were painful to listen to. And, I, and I've been – I haven't done it yet, but I, I performed it. Um, I performed it once or twice, and I felt myself, like, just in rehearsal. And I, I was totally – you know, welling up. Um, and so I'm going to perform it on this run um, for the tour. Um, but yeah, that's a song that's very special to me. Yeah. Little weird note. You mentioned that time when you know you're going to break up, but you haven't broken up yet. Yes. Did you ever have to like go to a Thanksgiving dinner with their family during <laughs> that? Because that is the extra worst. That we were talking the, about yes, that today. Yes. And you sit there going, like, why am I even here? Yes. Like, I should have broken up. And you yes. think, like, my own cowardice has got <laughs> me here with these people when I should have just, you know, yes. stepped up. It's hypothetical. I mean, have you have you seen the show uh, Parenthood? No. No. Okay. Uh, have you seen the show Modern Family? Yes, First. yes. Okay. Literally, that's his family. They are the best. They are charming. Oh. They are hilarious. They are. They accept me for like, like I can say like a super brash joke, and they're like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Good. and uh, they are literally the best. I have only had Thanksgivings where it's like I had this Thanksgiving recently with them, and yeah, it was the same thing. It was like we had just gotten through like a big hurdle, but I was like, oh, I don't know if it's right you know yeah it's the worst and that year for some reason we decided I mean this is very revealing but for that year for some reason we decided to um me and him uh decided to have a vegan Thanksgiving which is incredible beautiful thing to do Mm -hmm. um but it was it was very it was very gross the meal we made (laughs) it was very very gross yeah and you're in that sad time you don't have that turkey (laughs) drugs making you fall asleep whatever the trypinephrine it was like a fake vegan cheese 
macaroni and cheese, but it was only made with sweet potato and like for some reason sugar. Mm -hmm. That's not macaroni and cheese. It matched the relationship at the time. (laughs) That's actually really cool. You can't even eat your feelings because you're looking at it just like, oh. Totally. Yes. It was it was very unfortunate. Yes. So yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Yes, Yes. So now that the album is out, what's next? Or are you just living in the now? Ooh, okay. Well, I'm definitely probably going to have a moment where, like, I spiral and I, like, clutch my knees and I'm like, why did I release this? What have I done? (laughs) Um, And then after that, uh, go for a walk. No. Um, After that, um, I'm thinking I have another song that I'd like to release. um, And if the timing all works out, I'll release it. Yeah, but also it's good to get people's feedback. Like with Jekyll and Hyde, I wasn't sure if I was going to release it. I played a clip, and thankfully people responded well. Oh, it's so good. Thank mm-hmm. you. And your Adidas clothes in the video are so great. Thank <laughs> you. Still waiting on a sponsorship. It's hey. really been four years. Adidas. Anytime, Adidas. It's been four years, yeah. yeah. Hey. Definitely been four years of wearing their clothes. Um, yeah, but uh, I... Getting that instant feedback does make a difference, and so I might do another little poll to see if people are interested. And yeah, a collab with the Backstreet Boys, perhaps. I mean, your words, (laughs) your words. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Well, check it out, Bishop Briggs Champion. It's out now. Just get it, okay? Ah, thank you.